Hello everyone, my name is Anthony Barocas of Stream For Us and the Aiva Tech Thoughts YouTube channel. I also write for Streaming Media Producer. I am here for US broadcast distribution and today I want to introduce you to the Switchblade M7 live production system. Now, the M7 is basically just a PC, but it's configured, built and tested and ready to go with capture cards and vMix for your production. Now, if you don't know which motherboards work best with which capture cards or which RAM, you can spend time figuring it out, ordering, testing, installing Windows, and spending hours or even days building your system and still possibly not getting it just quite right. Time is money, and for lots of people, they just need to buy something and have it work. So if you're looking for a way to get your live production to Facebook, YouTube, Zoom, or anywhere else video goes, you can get the M7. Now the M7 comes with four physical inputs starting under $4,000, and that actually includes the software, vMix, for getting your show production virtual sets, remote callers, animated titles, recording, streaming, and everything else. And for that price, you get to choose the specific capture card that you want in the M7. Did you want four SDI inputs? Did you want four HDMI inputs? What about four NDI inputs? Or even four 4K HDMI inputs? Yep, you get to pick what goes in the M7. You can even add an additional four hardware SDI inputs on the back of the M7, like this one, and that's in addition to the four SDI, HDMI, or NDI inputs you already started with. So, yeah, eight physical SDI inputs on this box the size of a big toaster. Now, you can see this right here on this one. I have four HDMI inputs right here on the back plane. These outputs up here are for the monitor card. Up here are the four SDI inputs. Now, I consider this the best of all worlds because it doesn't matter what I need to plug in. My SDI camcorders can plug right in, or the client shows up with something with an HDMI output, I just plug it right in here and I don't need any external converters. And that's the real benefit of the tight integration of the M7 Portable, reducing the number of external whatnots and widgets that you need to make a show come together reduces the potential failure points and gives you more control over what's going on. Now, I don't work for Switchblade and I didn't have a hand in designing the M7. I have given them feedback that I think this little thing really needs a handle because that is a heck of a lot easier to pick it up. It weighs 5.8 kilograms and that's over 12 and a half pounds, not counting the power cable. The sides are solid metal, not magnetic, they're aluminum, the top frame and side grills are all steel, powder coated black. Now, if you look at the bottom, you can see two quiet 110 millimeter variable speed fans that bring in the cool air from under the M7 and then they blow it out through the top of the enclosure. And yes, there's a bit of RGB lighting inside. On the back panel, the motherboard features the full complement of typical computer analog and optical inputs and outputs. There are two Wi-Fi antennas, four USB 3.0 ports, one USB 3.1 port, and a USB 3.1 Type-C. There's also a gigabit Ethernet port and a couple monitor ports we won't be using. There's a single power button conveniently located right on top. And all on the front plane, there's another USB 3.0, headphones, microphone, and another USB-C. Our video card features our monitor ports, and the specific connectors for the monitor ports depends upon the video card you get in the M7 you choose. When you choose an M7 with an internal power over Ethernet, you get four additional internal power over Ethernet plus ports. This way, you can plug in your power over Ethernet devices like an NDI encoder or decoder, pan tilt zoom camera, or whatever you have. You plug them right into the M7 for both power and video. One Ethernet cable, using NDI, is your input to the switchblade. It's also audio. It's pan, tilt, and zoom control. 
it's Tally, it's comms, and because of power over Ethernet, you're powering that device from the M7 all with one wire. Now, there are different tiers of hardware, and you can also pick the level of vMix you need to do your productions. This way, you're not overpaying for capability that you don't need. If you were to compare this package to a TriCaster Mini, which is already 50% more expensive, there are several advantages to the M7 Portable. First, the Mini is either an HD Mini with SDI or HDMI. You can't mix and match. You can't have both. And if you have either SDI or HDMI, the Mini is limited to HD. Now, you can get a 4K Mini with NDI. You can't get a TriCaster Mini that does 4K HDMI. That's not actually a thing. And if you want a 4K capable Mini with any SDI or HDMI inputs, that actually doesn't exist. There are no Mini models with eight physical inputs. You know today's productions are always demanding more and more inputs and more flexibility to handle whatever pops up, like an hour before the show. The Switchblade M7 can be 4K capable with both HDMI and SDI physical inputs. And with that, you're pretty much ready to handle most anything that's gonna happen. Moreover, with the Mini, you can't run other software at the same time as you're switching a live show. The TriCaster interface takes over the entire computer completely. You have to add additional computers for connections to Teams, Zoom, or whatever, and that adds to your cost. Being able to integrate your live production with your client's business chat application of choice and do it within the M7 streamlines your setup. With the M7, you can just add another monitor and run your switcher on one and your chat, titles, audio, remote guests, or Zoom or Teams or whatever on the second or even third screen. The tight integration of capabilities and features built into the M7 portable coupled with a single point of contact for purchase and service means you save time, money, and expense. And you're able to focus your energies on the live production services that make you money. You can check out all the models and configurations of the Switchblade M7 Portable at switchbladesystems.com and at their resellers. My name is Anthony Barocas. Thanks for watching.